everyone and welcome back to To Wonder Freely. Some of you had asked and we actually got a specific request for a video on showing how we pack up and so we wanted to share that with you. Some of it we're going to go through pretty quickly because it's kind of common sense things but at the same time there are some things in particularly because we have an older RV that we renovated that are unique to us and we feel like we should let you know those things because um, if you're considering renovating an RV, you'll have to, you're going to face the same challenges that we did. So we're going to go through our routine. We're just getting started. It is 9.18. So I think it usually takes us about a half hour. It'll probably, probably going to take us longer with the filming, I would assume. But um, I'm going to speed up some of the parts for you, some of the more common parts, and then, and that way we'll keep this video short. Okay, so in the kitchen, the main thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you put all your dishes away. That's kind of obvious. Double check your drawers and your cupboards to make sure that they are latched. We have never had a problem. If these are latched appropriately, we have never had a problem with them opening. I also just usually put my strainer in here real quick. I clean my sink before I leave every time so that I can put stuff in there and it's clean. Um, You will learn these tricks as you go, but we keep that shelf, like, I don't have to touch anything in that shelf because it's already set there. The only thing I do is put my uh, wooden thing on the floor, close your stove up and your kitchen, make sure that your fridge is set, and you're done. Okay, so I've moved on to the bathroom. Again, super quick because we have these uh, shelves already <laughs> set up. So it's really easy to just throw everything in here. I will say my biggest tip for anybody is if the fuller that you keep your shelves and cabinets and things, the less things will move. So keep that in mind. Uh, the other thing that we do is use a, just a bucket down here to store. I have never actually left the stuff up in the shower stand. I don't know if it would be okay or not, but I just feel like maybe it would be okay. That's one of those things we started doing early on. It became part of our routine and we just stick with it. But I put the rest of the stuff that doesn't fit down on the shelves in there, bring the shampoo stuff down. We always carry extra water, which I've mentioned before, so that we can still use um, the restroom and just so that we have water on hand just in case. So that's it for the bathroom. Towels, all this stuff stays where it is. It does not move. We've never had a problem with that. So that takes 30 seconds. <laughs> Now, the bedroom's something that we usually do in the morning when we get up. As we get up, we just set the things down that need to be down, like our books and things like that. Um, and then the fan and the lamp, we just set right on top of the bed. And we don't even unplug it or anything. They don't go anywhere. And that's it for the bedroom. So as part of our renovation, we brought a lot of actual furniture into the camper. So it's not built-in stuff. you got to make sure it's strapped down before you hit the road. So we do that in a variety of ways. It has to do with a bunch of bungee cords and ratchet straps, all of which will become very good friends of yours if you are full-time and on the road. So we'll start over here at my desk. Now the desk itself is bolted to the wall, but there's some loose things here that need to be strapped down to stay in place. One of which is the printer down here. Some things you find out as you go. I used to not do anything to this. Most trips it would do all right, but sometimes I'd come in after a trip and it would have really slid around pretty good. So I've started using this bungee and I just strap it to the frame of the desk, bring it around back here, and then put it right in there. And that just keeps this thing in place so it doesn't slide around. Next we have the chair, the desk chair, which I just slide in like this. We don't always have our little space heater up here, but lately we've had some cool mornings, so we've got it. When we do have it plugged in, instead of wrapping it up and putting it underneath, I just set that thing right there, grab another one of these bungees, and again, I'm just attaching this to the frame of the desk. Bring that right around, like that. We have had a lot of questions on what we do with the computer monitors while we're traveling, and it's actually pretty simple. Um, I used to lug these things back to the bed and set them down, but then after a few months it dawned on me that I can just put them over here on the day bed. It'd be even quicker. All we do is just set them face down. I put a couple pillows on top just in case something were to fall out of here. We've never had that problem. And I do the same thing with the big computer, a little bit heavier. 
And this guy, it's actually nice that he's heavy because if we set him down like so and slide him in there, and he really doesn't go anywhere. We've never even had a close call with these guys sliding around. So that's where they sit when we travel, and that's worked out real well. So next, we have the day bed. We gotta get this thing anchored in. So I've got ratchet straps for that. And what I did for this, it's very heavy, but because there's so much jostling around on travel days, even this thing can move, and it has moved on us in the past. So I actually, I put two, you'll be able to see it better over here. Sorry. Sorry. I put a few of these guys in the wall. Basically anchor points for me to grab onto with these rapid straps ratchet straps to keep our day bed from moving. So there's one here and there's one tucked over on the side wall, which you won't be able to see, but that's what I'm hooking up to. That just goes on like that. I bring this around, our trusty ratchet strap. Through. And the nice thing about this one is it doesn't just hold the day bed, it holds the drawers in too. Yes. Yeah, I put the anchors in such a way that the strap will go right across the drawers, right underneath the handles. Yeah. And then we just give that a couple of cranks. And the day bed's set. So next up is our table and chairs over here. And Jenny had to have her little drop leaf table come on the trip with us. I think this was... Uh, flea market purchase about it was. 12 years ago. It was ago. like 10 bucks. Yeah, yeah, so we were it's happy so to have cute. this come along. But it's all loose furniture, so let's strap it down. So we drop the leaf, slide this chair in, use this little bungee just to keep that like that. So now that we've got the table set up, we're going to secure it to the wall the same way that we did the day bed. But before doing that, as I'm securing this, this is going to pull tighter to the wall. I want to make sure that the edge of the table doesn't knock into the window at all. So what I do there, slide that out a little bit. We've got all these wonderful pillows. I put one of them to good use. And just slide that behind there. Move that up against it. And then I'm ready to strap it down nice and tight to the wall. We hook over there, got an anchor point on the side wall. Okay. Get our ratchet strap going here. Feed that through. And then this one actually just hooks on to the other ratchet strap. Just like so. Give that a couple of cranks. And that's it for that one. Voila. Just like that. Last item on the list to strap down inside is our water filter. He is fully loaded with water right now, so we sure don't want him tipping over. So we set him right over here on the floor. We make sure that our drawers are locked in the way they should be, and they are. To protect the paint on the cabinet, I just have some of this material here that we slide behind it. Put that up nice and tight, and then I use two bungee cords that go right to the handles of the drawers. One on the bottom, one on the top, and that's it. Strap down, the inside's ready to go. So once Chris has everything strapped down, then he typically heads outside and starts working on the outside stuff. I just have a few more things to do inside here. One of the things that you definitely want to do is to keep all your blinds shut. And in the beginning, I was like, why do people do that? I Keep in mind, we had never been in an RV before, so we didn't know. But we saw people on the road and saw everybody had all their blinds shut. And I was like, oh, I guess they don't want people to see in. And then I realized, no, it's just because it's hot out. Okay, you will find the best thing that you can do is to try to keep this puppy as cool as possible because even if it's like even if it's in the 70s if the sun's beating on you while you're traveling it is going to get hot so that's a tip that we do usually in the morning when we're leaving we try to put our air conditioner even lower to drop the temperature in here a little bit extra and then make sure that you have all your blinds down another issue challenge that we faced when we were doing the renovation is we took this used to be carpet okay our slide was all carpeted and we got rid of that carpet and wanted to put in what is this chris 
Uh, it's just a vinyl floor type it's of material. Vinyl. Yeah. Okay. So, in order to do that, we had to figure out how was how was that going to slide? How would that affect this? And what we decided to do was leave our vinyl go a little bit extra. It's passed so that it would slide well. So there's actually more material here with the carpet. It just kind of tucked underneath. So because there's more material, when this slide comes in, it now hits our vents. So what we decided to do, the, the decision that we made up front was we would rather go with that, have the extra material to make sure it slid well, slid well, <laughs> and then, I'm not sure if that's, <laughs> you know what I mean, yeah. make sure it slides okay, and then um, we would just by hand remove these, and it takes like two seconds, so we have no problem doing that. So before I do the slide, I just pop up our floor vents and just move them farther away. So now when the slide comes in, it will cover right over the top a little bit. Okay? So at this point, we're completely done in here. The bathroom door is shut and I am going to bring the slide in. Now you can see how crammed it is. Once the slide is in, we can get through there, but it is a tight fit. Um, and that's it. This is all ready to go. These don't even come down. Chris put something on these. What did you do? Just Velcro. A couple little pieces of Velcro to help keep them right where they're sitting now. So I don't even have to move those on moving day. Yeah. So that is officially it for the inside. Okay. So one of the last things I do here is to put the herbs away. I just set them right inside on the rug and they don't go anywhere. And then I'm just gonna lock it up. Definitely lock it up because you may not think about it. You may think you're just going to the next place and you're not gonna stop anywhere. But if you would stop somewhere for some reason, you want this locked. And that did happen to us at a gas station at one point where we, Fortunately, had locked ours because when we left it to go into the bathroom and came back up our steps were down so clearly somebody had checked to see if our door was locked or not so anytime that you're towing even if you don't think that you're gonna stop lock your door